The Giro d'Italia is live and on demand each and every day, with a few stages remaining before Rome and the fight for pink, blue and other jerseys still on. Thibaut Pino looking to take the blue jersey off of Ben Healy. The pink supporters still around and everybody signing in looking for some success with just three stages after this one remaining. Filippo Zana was the Italian champion riding with Eddie Dunbar, the Irishman, and a Welshman having his birthday in the Maglia Rosa. Geraint Thomas, just the sixth rider to wear the Maglia Rosa, the race lead on his birthday. Stage 18, a very big one, taking in several climbs, five classified climbs, before three coming in the final few kilometers. 30 k's, or just over in fact, for those final three climbs. A first finish in Zoldo Alto, since Paolo Savoldelli beat Ivan Basso back in the mid noughties Lots of climbing before a bigger Dolomite day the day after at a Monte Lussari time trial on stage 20. And it was a full gas start. The flat plane of the Veneto seeing Healy attack before and going out the back. That meant that the King of the Mountains points all went to Thibaut Pino. He was in the breakaway and clawing points back on the Irishman. A really solid breakaway, taking time, but then allowed to take more time in the Valley Road before the final few climbs. Almost six minutes they had going into the third from last climb, and Ineos Grenadiers started to pull the pace. Frenchman Pinot, who had his heart broken just a few days ago in Switzerland, would move into the King of the Mountains lead again. But what would Primoz Roglic do? Hanging around at the back, speculation of how he was feeling, he would soon respond positively. In the breakaway, it was again disappointment for Israel Premier Tech. They were up there, they were animating the race, but Pinot went away with Zana, the Italian champion. G and Frigo forced to chase on. And at the front, Sepp Kuss stepped up and started to increase the pace. That soon did for Joao Almeida. He needed Jay Vine to help him out. And Geraint Thomas was also isolated from his teammates too. Dunbar managed to stay with them. Roglic would attack and distance Dunbar. Thomas not losing a metre though. On to the final climb. And again, Kuss doing his best. Dunbar moving up in the GC despite losing a little bit of time. Almeida in the meantime trying to conserve his second place. Only 11 seconds were in it though between him and Roglic. And when there was a mistake made by Vine on the descent, that meant it would not happen. So Roglic moving into second, Almeida fighting for every second, Thomas not budging. Up ahead, almost a distraction in the end, it was a stage win fight. Pino in the same situation he'd been a few days previous, sprinting for the victory. But once again, he'd have his heart broken. Filippo Zana, a rider from the Veneto, on the roads of the Veneto, and in the Italian champion's jersey, making it a dream come true. Tricolore time at the Giro d'Italia. Filippo Zana winning, Pino second, but going as king of the mountains. And behind, the GC battle raging on. Roglic up to second, Almeida down to third, Thomas as consistent as ever. Eddie Dunbar moving up to fourth place, Caruso down to fifth. Everybody battling for every place. Victory though to Filippo Zana and Jaco Alula. They're having quite the tour of Italy. Zana, Pino, Barguil, G and Barre Pantre. Another top four for Derek G and the Israel Premier Tech team. GC group at just under two minutes led by Roglic and Thomas. A happy 37th birthday to Geraint Thomas. Not so happy day for Almeida, but no disaster either. 39 seconds between the top three, three stages to go and everything still to play for. The terrain on which to play too. Thibaut Pino at his consolation was that Maglia Zura, a really good day in terms of the points, but with plenty of points on offer the following day, lots of defending still to be done. Healy in second, Baiz down now in third on 144 points. So to the five-star stage, the Dolomite monster stage, Tapone time, starting in Longarone and going up to Trecime di Lavaredo. 2,304 metres will be the Cima Coppi, the highest point, going over routes that include 
Paso Tre Croci and Paso Jao. The Dolomites are a thing of beauty, but as we know, they look like heaven, feel like hell. The Giro d'Italia has three stages remaining, and you can watch them all live and on demand on GCN+.